I had nothing to do, I had no one to talk to, and um, I remember the first night I was in my dorm room, I just cried and cried and cried because I wanted to go home. I think the hardest part about coming to Louisville was getting used to everything. I am from a small town in London, Kentucky. I had never been in the city for very long. Um, the longest I'd ever been in the city was probably overnight for like a funeral. So coming here was a major change. Um, my family lived in a perfect little circle with each other. It was pretty nice, it still is pretty nice. Um, a lot's changed, we've lost some land. I miss it down there. I think some of the biggest changes, the biggest challenges, were probably stuff like making friends, um, noise, getting used to the noise, and just being away from my family. I, I didn't have a lot of luck with friends. I spent an entire year of my, my last school year, I spent it in my dorm watching YouTube and eating. Um, I gained, gained a lot of weight. I got really depressed. It was hard. It was it was sad and hard. Um, it, it's sad to say going to class was the highlight of my weekend. I dreaded the weekend. Uh, that that was my life for a whole month. I think another another thing that people living in a dorm have to realize is. Even if you're not rooming with people, you're still interacting with other people. Um, you have neighbors, you have thin walls with neighbors right beside of you that you have to worry about. You've got classmates that you're going to have to figure out ways to get in touch with them, to go meet with them. You're going to have to learn a whole bunch of new directions. and It's just all this stuff. There's a lot to think about. The hardest, like the hardest, hardest thing that I had to get used to here was um, learning to do stuff by myself. Uh, I was used to doing some stuff by myself. I had a job before, so I was used to getting an income, and now I don't have an income. Um, I was, I already cooked and stuff, so I knew how to cook. Uh, it was, it was keeping everything clean myself. Um, knowing exactly how to manage your money like you have to pay for laundry at most schools you have to pay here and it was like how do I manage my money to be able to do my laundry to be able to buy groceries to do all this stuff uh, the money part is a, a, it's a major issue it's not just for financial aid FAFSA it's I think um, that's another thing that's a giant concern with the dorm life is if right now the whole gun problem is happening and it's like if the tiny schools aren't safe I don't it's a college like this is probably not going to be safe either it's um, a risk when you have a job or you have to go somewhere by yourself and you have to think, am I going to get hurt? People like me, I have a lot of, a lot of medicine, a lot of medical issues, um, stomach issues, acid reflux, and I'm taking allergy shots, not to mention a lot of other things. So, um, that can be pretty stressful. Um, it's stressful when you live so far away, your hometown is so far away, and you have to get everything delivered to the dorms. I actually got super sick last year, and I had, I had some medicine order, my mom had ordered some medicine for me, and was going to send it um, straight from our doctors to the dorms from overnight, and I was like really, really sick. And it took them a week and a half 
to even comprehend that it's not their fault, but it took a week and a half for the message to get sent that, oh, she needs that medicine now. So medical things, mailroom things are a stress when you're living in a dorm.